What's going on World Wide Web? It's your boy Trey Libra and today I'm going to be doing unboxing and a slight review on the Ultron PFA studio screen. This is um, somewhat a cheap version or an alternative to the chaotic or the chaotic eyeball that's on the market for $200. Yes, for $200. So I've been wanting the chaotic or the chaotic eyeball for some time now, but I really questioned myself and said, is the $200 really worth something that I really want for the looks and not so much the sound? So um, I looked on YouTube uh, for alternatives and for uh, DIY projects. I saw a few DIY projects where people bought the round foam, gushed it out and stuff. And I, I told myself I, I wouldn't want to do that because um, I didn't like the look of it. Like, you know, the non-smooth edges and stuff. Besides, you know, the chaotic eyeball looked really good. So I continued to search and I found uh, an alternative, which was this. And um, I saw it online for like, whew, and, uh, it was like $58. And I was like, uh, man, I want that too, but I don't want to spend that as well. So, um, of course, um, I got it as a late birthday gift. But anyways, here it is. When I finally received it by mail, I said to myself, why not do an open box and a slight review on this product because... When I searched for it, I only saw one other video of it. And um, I was like, this would be a great opportunity to get myself some views, because I know people are gonna be looking for an alternative of the chaotic eyeball. So here we go. So, uh, I'm behind the camera right now and I've taken the camera off the tripod, but, um, <clears throat> all right, so here it is right here and I'm going to take the windscreen or off using one hand right here. So please excuse me. I'm going to take the windscreen off and in the inside of the filter screen filter was this little piece right here and I looked in the instructions and I, I'm I didn't see anything but I'm assuming this is some type of stopper or whatnot but uh we're gonna throw this to the side right quick and we're gonna put the <clears throat> the pf8 on my blue spark there it is right there see it in the inside right there um, it's kind of loose, but uh, I'm assuming that's what this piece right here is to stop it from twisting around like this. So, um, so as you can see, I um, I went ahead and put the screen pop a stopper back on, but also put the little cutout thingy that was in the inside of this right here. And what that does is it keeps the mic diaphragm right here at the center right here 
instead of right up here. So um, yeah, if I take this off, you can see that the diaphragm is dead center of it instead of up here. And that's what that stopper right there has done. So um, right now I'm going to insert some B-roll footage so that you guys can see what it looks like completely on the Alcatron PF8 mic filter. Also, <clears throat> so this is what it sounds like with the Alcatron pop mic filter, whatever you want to call it, the PF8. Um, I want to say I'm about five, four and a half to uh, five inches away from the diaphragm with the Alctron PF8 on. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, this is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. Microphone check, one, two. I sound like one of those um, voiceover guys that does movies and stuff. It sounds kind of awesome. All right, so we're going to do uh, another test with it off. So round two, this is what it sounds like without the Alctron PF8 pop filter on, without it on. This is what it sounds like. I'm about um, five and a half, no, four and a half, five, terrible at measurements, guys. So uh, yeah, about four and a half, five inches away, maybe five and a half inches away. Um, this is what it sounds like. Um. In my headphones, I really can't tell the difference, but when I go to edit it, put it on the video, um, playback, I might be able to hear the difference. So um, keep in mind, I didn't get this thing anyways for really so much the, the sound quality. I just think it looks cool, you know, on the mic. Besides, it was barely... Um, fifty dollars, and it was a gift. So, yeah. Um, instead of um, and I go in hotels a lot to record songs and stuff. Let me grab this right quick. Opposed to taking this big old thing in and out of hotels with me now, I can just take this. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, open box and a small short review, review of the Altron PF8. Um, I apologize if I did not meet your expectations of an open box. This is my very, very first time ever doing an open box and a review. So um, yeah. So um, the, the sounds that you guys were hearing it from is through the program um, uh, Pro Tools 8. So, um, yeah, I got this thing more so for the looks and to look cool versus the, the actual sound because um, I use this thing right here. Uh, typically, I use this thing right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. This goes on the back of my mic like this, and all the sound bounces back onto this right here. So, I might even use both with this in the back of the mic and that on, who knows? We'll see what that sounds like. But uh, it's your guy, Trey Libra. I am a hip hop recording artist and I am a videographer. Look down below in the description section if you like to check out my social network sites, my website, uh, my merchandise. Yeah, Organic Africa. Yeah, see you again soon, peace. God bless.